Hello Scrappy Peeps! Welcome to my channel where I am sharing with you this layout created with the Fancy Pants Paisleys and Petals collection that is part of the uh, October Flavor of the Months kit. So this is the kit that I am about to share with you here. So if you subscribe to the uh, four pack kit. These are my selection of embellishments and don't forget that every selection is going to be different. You will get a sixth of a pack of the ephemera, a sixth of a pack of the tags and cards, as well as some enamel dots, and then three sheets of patterned paper. I absolutely love this collection. If you subscribe, you'll also get exclusive digital cut file. That is part of the cut file that I've cut using one of those pieces. I have cut it actually with the intent of using the B side here, um, but I changed my mind, you'll see that. And then um, a great stripe. You also get two sheets of um, cardstock. And then if you subscribe to the pattern paper add-on, you'll get two sheets um, for each collection. Love those leaves. Um, my plan was to fussy cut some of those, but I really don't need to with all the embellishments that I've gotten. And then if you get the uh, embellishment add-on, those are the embellishments that coordinate with this kit. So let's get started and let's create. So I have four four by three photos um, that I am using. They are of leaf cleanup um, last year because fall has only just begun here really. Um, and the leaves are falling, but not anywhere near as many just yet as need picking up. And I realize that this paper is not 12 by 12, um, so I am going to have to cut it off. But what I don't realize, and you will see me discover it later on in this video, is that there is actually a selvage on this paper. So when you get your kit, there is a selvage and you don't need to figure out how much you need to cut off, just cut off at the selvage. Yay, I'm using my brain. Um, so I am going to cut off some strips here of these that lacy paper. They uh, form a perfect header and footer for my page. Um, and then I kind of want to layer up the header and footer so you can see that I have um, some nice layers all the way through the page. My idea had been um, that I wanted to use the digital cut file just for the corners. Um, and I thought maybe I would frame one of these photos with some of the pattern paper. Um, but I I don't like the look of it. Um, and I'm not sure at this point what I'm going to do but I will figure it out as I go. Um, so I, as you see, I really want to frame it, but what happens when I frame it is then the other photo looks like it needs a frame too. Um, and so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to contend with that because given the colors in the collection, I already have a lot of busy papers. I really don't want to frame a second set of photos um, because that just necessitates a lot more layers. And I feel like with those photos slap bang in the middle, I already have a lot of layers here. So because this is sort of an organic layout, I want to give it a little bit more of an organic feel. So I just rough up the edges of the uh, header. Um, those will flatten out in an album, but my albums stand vertical. And so they don't flatten out that much. It just gives enough texture um, that it just adds a little something to the layout. So what I do to the top, I want to do to the bottom. Um, not always, but in this case, yes. Uh, and so I am going to do the same to the bottom there. And I'm, I'm flipping back and forth between what second strip I want here. Um, I, I don't want to use the yellow because I am going to use the yellow behind the photos. But at the same time, I also feel like that pink is just a little not as bright um, and but it works. So I'm going to go with it. So I decide here that what I'm going to do is I'm going to add banners um, to the middle of the photo. And rather than wasting the paper and use the banner all the way across, I'm just going to cut the ends of each banner and line them up so that um, they are symmetrical on either side. And you'll see here that uh, as I am creating, I actually put it behind uh, the banner askew. And while that doesn't look normal, um, I actually prefer it askew, see like that, with one up, one down. But the problem is, is that I know in my head that that is not normal, that the banner would go straight across. And so I can't do that. Um, it's just the way my logical brain thinks. So we abandon that. 
So this is where I turn the digital cut file over and I realize that I really like it multicolor um, as I'm creating. As I edit the video, I re actually really preferred it solid color because there is so much color in the layout already, um, but it's down and so it's staying that way and I'm going to keep it that way. Um, you know, it there are worse things in the world, right? So uh, rare occurrence, Susanna pulls out her, her, her ruler to actually line things up. I don't ever do that. Um, I, I should and I don't say I don't ever. I very rarely do that. Um, and so you've got this nice banner that divides split down the middle um, and provides a fun layer to the layout. So this is where I am going to use liquid adhesive to apply just a corner of the wreath uh, to the layout. And that's there, the discovery. Oh, there is a salvage. Ha, ah, well, using my brain, you know. Um, and then I'm going to apply the other corner or use another bit of the wreath to apply it to the corner. I think um, traditionally we get so caught up in using the wreaths whole that we forget that we can cut them up and still have um, a really great effect. So I was pleased with the way that that turned out. Um, I did decide to put this underneath the photo instead of on top because it would obscure um, my body, which kind of is crucial critical to the photo there, otherwise you miss the, the entire point of um, the equipment necessary for leaf removal. So uh, moving right along, we are going to trim off those edges and there is the foundation of the layout. So now I'm just going to um, embellish it and um, there are lots of great embellishments. While you get a, a sixth of the pack, it feels like way more than a sixth of the pack to me. Um, I toyed with putting twine in here, but again, there's so much here or red all already, already that um, I, I just decided that it didn't need that twine. While it would have added to the organic feel of it, it, it just wasn't going to work. I really wanted to use these big leaves because the whole idea of this was the leaves and it would have matched the size of the leaf in that top left photo. Um, but again, I it filled up a lot of the white space and you know me if you follow my videos and I like to have some white space in my um, projects. So I went with these small little leaves um, earlier when I was showing you what is contained in the kit. Um, I, I, I did my fussy cut scissor fingers and um, my original plan was to fussy cut some of those uh, fl florals, but I really didn't need to because I have so many of them in my embellishment selection that I opted not to do that. So I kind of do the Susanna shuffle down here and I, uh, I move these poor elements around over and over again, trying to figure out, um, I can't remember what it says under best because I tucked it in, but it wasn't gonna work with the layout. And so I thought, well, best, what does just best mean? And so I figured out, I was trying to figure out a way to get that container I'm sorry, I apologize for my big old head there, but um, that top end of the digital cut file was sticking up and I, I needed to see where I was sticking the adhesive to make sure it was going in the right place. So back to the tags. I, um, yeah, I, I, I wanted more embellishment there, but it needed to be subtle enough that it wasn't overpowering. So very boring title for this layout. It just says today. I could have gone in and I could have played with the words and used other letters, but um, it it just ends up being today and that's okay. I'm gonna go with it because um, the story is still there and the story is still being told. Um, so that is to me what is important. I wanted that little black heart at the bottom because I wanted some shot of black from the top right to coordinate with the top left. There's kind of a diagonal pattern that's been created. While you have a lot of horizontal movement from the headers and the footers, you also have that diagonal line that's created by the corners of that digital cup file there. You know me, I can't create a layout without using some um, foam adhesive, so I've popped up a few of those florals that are there. I will also tell you off camera I am going to use um, some of scrapbook.com's uh, glitter glitter glue and I'm going to put that instead of the enamel dots in the middle of the florals. I just felt that so I had gotten a really sky blue and I didn't really have a lot of that in this that I didn't use a lot of that color in this layout um, and I, I really kind of wanted that glittery look and so in the close-ups you'll see how that turns out. So again this layout is created for uh, the scrap room. It is a kit club. It is a subscription but if you uh, don't sub subscribe and there are one-offs available you can also um, 
um, order those. So the close-ups are to follow. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave those in the box down below. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you were doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.